Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new Let's Play on Europa Universal Sport and Pyramid of Assals. We're going to be playing as Ashan Fang, uh, by your request, or Anchan. I'm going to call him Ashan because it sounds cooler. Uh, by your request, let's get on with it. Well, they are. We're Persia, but we're playing as Kirosh the Great's Persia instead of Persis. Now, first thing we need to do is unite Persia when the game, you know, gets in. And to unite Persia, we need to actually, to create Persia, we need to unite with Persis. So, uh, I, I've also, uh, yeah, I've also, I've played this, I have played this before, like this uh, specific uh, campaign, well not campaign, but um, I have done this before as Ashen. The problem is though, Babylon does like to, you know. Babylon gets really, really aggressive. did not mean to do that, did not mean to do that. Can I, uh, can I cancel two of those spearmen, thank you. So yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to just get some alliances. We're going to accept alliances from everyone. Because that's what you need to do to win. You need to get every alliance you can. That's And then you will also... The the big problem is you need to declare the war before anyone else does. Um, because some pe the people you're allied with could declare the war against uh, Namidia for you. Uh, Midia for you. Which uh, is exactly the wrong thing. Now the second our army's done, we're just going to dart for Midia. What, what, why do you hate me, you prick? Apparently, there's no chance. He's, he's too many fucking reasons against me. So this cunt's just not going to refuse to help. But yeah, that's a waste of. So we lost the one of the more more important alliances we could have got. And we can we, we we can use you instead then. Now Babylon should help us no matter what in this war. Like even even if we don't ask them to, they should help us. Only because that's just how the game is built. Like, I believe that's how it's built to be, so. Yeah, there's no, uh, it's, I, like, I think the Independence War is just built that way. Now, we do need 150 relations with, uh, Persis to unite, per, unite the Persians, which we do need a royal marriage as well, but, uh, they can't have royal marriages. Yeah, apparently we, like, tribal kingdoms cannot have marriages. It's a very amusing concept to me because we're it's a fucking marriage, but it's, it's just it's a kingdoms and kingdoms are fun and like known for marriages, but matters not. Seriously, the people who are meant to join the war did not. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have, I have no fear. This war can still work for us. All we have to do is really try. Because this war actually is not that hard for us. With Kir especially with Kiros. With Ki mostly because of Kiros, we should be fine. Because Kiros hits like a fucking brick shithouse. And as long as we actually, you know... Oh, fuck you. We actually look for the enemy armies, we'll be fine. Um, yeah, we should hit- Oh, they're not gonna let me hit their armies there. That's okay. So all we need to do now is hope that they don't fucking, uh, you know, uh, become problematic. Uh, we do need to get our stability up as well, because our stability is going to be, uh, really not helping- I need our stability to be helping me, not hindering me. So those guys, can you get- you get there, so you can get up here quickly. So once I've sieged this, I just need- I'll be able to kick all these armies down. So it's not going to be a big issue. Still making some money, even though we're over our force limit, which is uh, surprising. Uh, we're not going to uh, we're not going to be able to unite our armies until this is taking, though. We do have a six siege, I believe. Oh no, Kyrus is only a four siege. Wow, mate, you get fucking better, man. And once, I mean, they can siege me up as much as they want. I'm still going to win, so it's not a problem. Done. Right, so we've we've become we've united Persis. Oh, sorry, we've we've reformed the Midian throne. We are now a despotic monarchy. We still cannot marry Persis, but we can improve their relations to 150 by giving them. Oh, we do need to actually. Re ah, yes, we actually just took over armies there. So I'm gonna get rid of you guys. Get rid of you. 
Apparently, I still cannot have as many men as I have. So we'll uh, go two of you. And one, one. Oh, come on. My income's not that shit game. Uh, we are, we're going to leave our men here. Now, we do have the aristocrats who want some land. So let's give the aristocrats some land. Yeah, they're not going to be happy until they get a decent amount, a decent swath of land. We've got some condotti area. Let's cancel those. There we go. So our income's fixed. We've got the right amount of men. So we've got 12k. Now, eventually, Persis should, uh, you know, and be annexed by me. There it is. Armistice retires. The king of Persia, uh, Persia or Persia, Armistice retires and offices thrown to us. He just wishes to spend the rest of his life in peace and dignity. This would make Kyrus the Great the king of all Persians. There we go. And then this mission just gives me some prestige in that. Unfortunately, we have too many men again. I'm going to get rid of this 4k. Okay, we'll get rid of one infantry from here as well. We'll get rid of one infantry here. That, will, uh, that gives me just enough money to, for income. Now, as you can see, we, uh, we have now got claims all up and down here. Claims I fully intend to act on. The only problem is there's not many people we can act on. So you are one of them. You are allied to Armenia. Yeah, no, fuck that. Armenia is a um, cuntish twat, and you just do not want to be fighting them early on. It is honestly best to you wait. And see, the problem is this is this is the problem. This is the problem. Where this is the reason Babylon always fucks me over because they put these pricks into the fucking tributary, and you can't do anything about it because purge like Babylon is just bullshit strong. Look at that, they have 60,000 men. So essentially, I'd actually, no, they're not bullshit strong yet. I'm actually wrong. They're not bullshit strong yet. Apparently, they seemed it. They, I, I guess I just haven't played this recently enough, this uh, campaign t t attempt. Because last time I did, they had like 100,000 men. So I guess I'm just, I need to expand quicker than they expand. So the only problem is, though, we can never finish Unite the Midians. Because they have this person underneath them. The only way I can do it is by... Oh, no, I can do it by attacking them and just annexing them. That's fine. Yeah, we'll do that way. So in uh, 200, we can attack. Uh, Kiros, please leave the army for now. I do not want you dying just yet. I would like to get a few wars with you done first. You know, just to make sure I have uh, everything on my... Everything I can assisting me. Our truce of Elam has ended. I think Elam's stronger than us, actually, so I wouldn't do that. No, Elam isn't stronger than us, but they can have more man men than us overall. So, yeah, not worth touching them. Or well, not worth trying right now. I'd rather kill off these guys anyway. Are you... Yeah, you're improving relations with Babylon. So, you could be trying to make get Babylon to make you, with, uh, make you a bitch of his, but... And normally I'd like to go for these, these, these two first, but I think these guys, so I can get these guys annexed, is going to be more important to me. Uh, yeah, should be fine. I shouldn't need any allies either. The only reason Parthia wants to be involved is so that I, they can uh, take these promises from me and kind of stop the entire point of annexing them, so I can have like the border there. Um. So we need to wait until uh, April. So exactly a year, ladies and gentlemen. So so far, so good. The Persis uh, did exactly as they should do. Now Parsa needs to have shrine, foreign, public bath, taxman, and so is Persagrad as well. Or Parsagrad. Then we have the Gate of the Nations. We build a. Uh... Apparently, there's a great project we can build here. I don't know how to fucking do that. We'll figure that out. That's not a problem. Now, we could state some land. Stating land down there makes complete sense because it actually will automatically be uh, ready for us. We're going to have two more units. So, I'm going to have another infantry and another, like, skirmisher. Because right now, we need any men we can get. Especially if we're to let this campaign to last. Now, we're going to have a constant diplomat here just so I can... Uh, 
They keep him happy. Yeah, see, Babylon will like, Babylon will try and stop me, which is the reason I need to grow quicker than them. The only problem is they have a fucking great head start on me. Like a fucking amazing head start on us. That's some military tech. We're the first person to get military tech, which is pretty badass, I would say. Get up there, guys. Thank you. We're going to be doing the border conquest because that makes the most sense. We'll do it for... We'll do it for this one, the capital. Why not? The second leader on that, just because the second leader won't... Like, he won't want to fight my second leader. He won't want to fight either of my leaders, really, but, you know, what can he do? We have more men. So all we need to do is get this siege done and we can, you know, wipe them floor with them. Oh shit, no, they actually do want to fight my 4k. Ooh. Oh, fuck off, game. They killed fucking Kiros, ladies and gentlemen. They killed the great king. The game fucked me over again. The game does like to do this to me, ladies and gentlemen. The game likes to kill Kiros really quickly. I feel like the game should hard code Kiros to last longer. Because holy shit, does he just die early. Like, he can be like t 30 and he'll just die. Which is just fucking ridiculous. Now we're going to have to rely solely on uh, Conquest Wars, which... Just aggressive expansion, fucking intensive as fuck. This war's going to hurt. It's going to hurt our admin, it's going to hurt everything. The biggest problem is they're sieging down there right now, and I can't do anything about it, because I just can't. Like, there's nothing I can do about it. They have more men than me, and I don't have Kiros anymore. So I'm going to be unable to, you know, just strictly punch them in the fucking throat. So let's push this speed up a little bit more. Come on, 64, come on. Right, let's go get these assholes. And you know what? Let's go get these assholes killed. Like, as long as I can kill some of them, it's not a problem. I'll siege all this back later. Jesus Christ, it takes fucking forever to get anywhere in this game. On this, in this region. Um... Yeah, we need those, we need those units. Apparently, we're going to catch no one there. That's fine, I guess. I'm going to let you siege my land and go back to annexing yours. A Persian vassal would actually be quicker and easier. I'll maintain a guy in Babylon, because Babylon really cannot hate me at this point. I really cannot have them hating me. Yeah, it's impossible to get an alliance with them now that I'm Persia, but still. Set the slaves free, and we'll go siege their capital. I think, I, yeah, I have two forts, so I have two forts until they can actually, you know, they're actually problematic to me. I'll happily go uh, into debt as well to win this war. I'm gonna leave the game on five speed for a bit just to make just to uh, you know, fucking hell they get through shit too quickly. Our current, our our air. I want to be better at military. They see my captain. I'm kind of fucked. Well, they've, they've also got the Midian. They've got loads. They've got fuck tons of forts to go through before they win. I'm just going to lose a shit ton of money. How's our personal piece? Minus 33. Why is that? 
Oh, because you are the one who's uh, fucking took my capital. You absolute cunt. Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, having to fight alone, it can be a pain in the ass. Splint two. Go, boys, go. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of money right now, which is not good for my elf. Come on, be a good boy and be my bitch. Apparently he does not want to be my bitch, which is unfortunate. Because I would very much like him to be my bitch. So they have a 0-2, I have a 3-6. So I have a much better leader. I was about to say, if they succeed on 0%, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to just quit you 4 at this rate. Just, like, just to quit to you 4 Oh, sweet. You know, I can just annex it instead. Fuck it, we'll annex it. Annexing it makes way more sense. It Actually, no, it really does make... It may, no, it actually you know, it makes 50... It's 50-50. It makes somewhat more sense while also making, like, none. It's one of those things. Got a high, uh, high uh, what's it called? Let's reduce that fuck out of that. Go kill these rebels. Of course, you can have military access. You're at war with Elam. You want to vassalize Elam? Oh, you want to vassalize Busan? Wait, Elam is Busan, are they? Okay, they, they must be because that's who they want to annex. Oh, no, they're coming to fight me there. That's fine. Right, let's get back up here. Let's go around there, and we're just going to eat these guys up. How am I losing so much fucking money? Oh, right, yeah, the, uh, state, the interest is going to kill me. Wait, yeah, repay one loan. And then we go, no, we go broke again and we can't pay that loan off. So let's ask the aristocrats for money. They gave me some, which is great. Let's go back to four speed because that's what we we're meant to be on. So we'll get these guys, we'll vassalize them, and then we'll vassalize these guys and uh, we'll do what we can. So right now, all we need to take over is uh, these guys. So as long as no one get Babylon doesn't get to these guys, we've actually, you know, we can actually get the first part done, which is would actually be really fucking good. And we get invasion causes bellies. That's... Oh, fucking invasion causes bellies are amazing. I'm actually going to do a hegemonic, hegemonic war immediately on them. Like these guys, I'm going to like specifically do a hegemonic. I'll go deal with them in a minute. Once this army's dead, I don't need to worry. Yeah, so I'm just going to go deal with that first, and then we'll come back over here. Parthia. Why can Parth... Oh, right, yeah, we need to go there. I just have enough favours. Fair enough. Well, fuck it. Call come to war, man. Uh, so, so far, Parthia's going... We're going... Oh, no, 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 no. For fuck's sake. If they attack us, ladies and gentlemen, we can't actually beat them. We'd, if we had Kiros, we could beat them. Like... Kiros, we can beat them. Anyone else? No, no chance. Like, not a chance in hell at that point. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, even my income's kind of dying. And I'm, I mean, turn my fucking thoughts off and I should be fine. Yeah, turn my thoughts off and it's fine, but... Yeah. We may be vassalizing these assholes. But we still need to, you know, annex them. And so we still need to take money from them. So give me all your money. And be my bitch. You will be good. Should probably still deal with that because you are my vassal now. Oh yeah, need to make you half autonomous straight away. Can't be having you uh, independent now. <laughs> what shit is this? And then we'll improve relations with them. We'll pull out now. 
Babylon has a... Uh... I don't think they actually did anything with them. Oh, what's this? Oh, yes, well, uh... Yeah, we'll just let the local population recover. The elephants, I don't know why, why you need to do that, but I know for a fact you need to uh, let them recover. I could make you non-autonomous, but you don't like me as it is, so there's no point in that. You would also get me at war with them. Killing you two would be great for me. Because again, more provinces that I need, like I direly need. But I think from the like rebellions alone, we should probably cool off for a minute. I believe there's, I believe these guys will eventually just stop trying. Maybe like you know, maybe leave me alone. I think it all depends on the. Actually, they're, they 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 think this way with their current leader. They're we fucked. We'll have to deal with that in the next part, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next part. See you guys then.